Okay, welcome back to a short video and in this video I'm reviewing the example from Feder with the truck carrying brine uh, and the goal here is just to highlight um, kind of the steps to solve these kinds of problems, right? So again, this was a truck carrying some brine. We have the concentration of the brine. There's a crash and then the brine is spread across 450 square feet. Uh, there's a thin aquifer, so this is always a telltale that this is, you know, well mixed over the depth. So we can use the 2D approximation, you know, um, f to solve these problems. And we have the linear velocity, so 1.23 feet per day. Uh, 133 days later, where would the center of the pollution, the center of the plume be? Uh, and what would be the maximum concentration? and how far um, beyond into the side of the center of mass would the, this plume spread, right? So how big would that plume be 133 days after the crash? Okay, so quite a bit of uh, questions and work. So the first thing we want to calculate is that uh, length scale because remember that for the dispersion coefficients, uh, we need to apply these uh, dispersivity equation that is scale dependent as we've seen right so we need to calculate that scale so the scale is 164 uh, feet okay and again the scale is just the velocity times the time right so velocity in feet per day times the time in days gives you <coughs> a length scale uh, in feet so the plume will be 164 feet away uh, in 133 days the maximum concentration, so again, for a 2D <coughs> equation, we've seen this before, uh, C0A over 40, again, remember that C0A is equivalent to M over Z in the equations that we've done before. You can recheck those, um, recheck those units, right? But this is uh, the principle, so C0A over 4 pi T square root of transverse and longitudinal dispersion coefficients. So, of course, to calculate this maximum concentration, we need the dispersion coefficients, which we uh, calculate using, again, the equation for dispersivity. Uh, and then we plug that into, you know, dispersivity times velocity is the dispersion coefficient. So once we have 566 feet, then we can plug that in, and that is 6.96 square feet per day. Remember in the, when we used it last time, right, in the first video in that third module on dimensions, I gave you the dispersion coefficient as seven uh, square feet per day and told you, you know, to use 10% uh, of that for the lateral uh, direction, which is the same we do here. Uh, so 0.7 uh, square feet per day. Okay, so now we can just plug in, right? Plug and check. So just plug in all the numbers and then find that the maximum concentration would be 263 milligrams per liter uh, after 133 days. Now, the size of the, fl the plume, <coughs> uh, there is a rule of thumb, and I haven't really talked about this that much in this class yet. Um, so, Feder uses uh, six sigma or, you know, three sigma away. So, the size of the plume here is essentially an effective, you know, size that we decide it is. And this is related to the Gaussian properties. Again, remember that 95% of the data for a bell curve is within four standard deviations or two standard deviations, you know, from the mean on the left and on the right. So if we do, right, if this is a Gaussian and this is sigma standard deviation, this is 95% of the data. Right, 95% of the data. So you might consider the size of the plume to simply be, you know, four standard deviations away from the middle or six standard deviations away from the middle. So if you take six, now you're at 99% uh, of the data. And this is hard to argue that this last 1% will be important. Okay, so in the book, in Feder, he uses that three standard deviations away uh, argument. So first we calculate those standard deviations. So again, square root of 2 dt, right? So t is 133 days. d we just calculated. So we have sigma x and then sigma y. 
So we have 43 feet in the X direction and 13.6 feet in the Y direction. These are our standard deviation. And again, you can calculate, you know, either three or two standard deviations away, depending on what criteria you use. Let's uh, follow Feder and just use three standard deviations away from the max uh, to see that we are at 129 feet is spread 40 feet sideways. Okay, so again, the size of the plume is about uh, 130 feet, you know, further from the center. Again, remember, this is just three standard deviations, you know, in front. So 129 feet, and then it has spread out 40 feet away from the middle. So 40 feet on either side, each side. Okay, um, so yeah, this is just, you know, a complete example to show you how to solve this uh, point source uh, contamination for a shallow aquifer. Thank you.